Hiya, um, this video is not about metal detecting, it's about me fitting a diesel heater in my van. But it's uh, it's not a video that I made for YouTube, it's just like um, video exchanges I did between me and my mates um, as I'm building it, you know, just, just, just sort of things, you know, little experiments. Because as well as metal detecting, I am sort of a bit of a mad professor as well. And... Uh, yeah, just love this van, and uh, now I've got a heater in it, it's great. So if ever I have to isolate, I'll do it in luxury. Literally is, it's 26 degrees in here right now. Loving that. All right, mate, I've been a bit of a busy boy today, so let me show you what I've done to my van. Well, in the process of. Right, so here we go. So, stripped all the bed out, in there, you can see that. A uh, diesel heater, so it's filled up with diesel there. Obviously, to move the sponge and what have you, and then it takes in air from underneath the van, which would be where the tyres are there. So that's where the tyre, the uh, air inlet will be that will go inside the tyre. And there's my exhaust there. Listen to that roar. So you don't get any fumes in the van whatsoever. Yeah, and it's warm. My wife says, uh, Kay says uh, she'd put a clothes horse in there and dry her washing. Actually, I reckon she could probably do it. Right, mate, so this is me with my feet up in my van. Loving it. So, internet over there, TV over there, which I haven't got on. Uh, got a lamp, uh, mug of coffee, kettle over there, uh, cooling fans there. So I can use them to circulate the heat if I wanted to. And here we go. This is the controller for, um, it's not showing up too well, is it? So this is my controller unit. Okay, and then this one. I'll have to open the door. This one, uh, where is it? So I've got a hand one as well. So it's 26 degrees in there. So, um, and it's 9.58 in the morning. So here we go. So I'm going to go into the engineering code. So I'm going to press that once. There. That's timers. Now this one is the engineering code. So I'm going to go 9. 9 and press OK. 0. 0. 0. And then... Oops, nine. So there you go, there's the hertz. So I've got it running on 1.2 hertz. So I'm now gonna take it down to, I'm gonna take it down to 1.1. Can you hear the, can you hear the motor? Right, look, actually, listen, listen to this, right. So I'll take the hertz up, listen to the clicking, okay? Can you hear the clicking? So that's the speed of the pump running the fuel in, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it right down to 1.1 hertz. Take it down to one. I don't think that's enough for complete combustion. So I'm gonna go to 1.1 hertz. Click OK. Maximum of 5.5 hertz. Uh, 1600 RPMs. And then, uh, that's the minimum for the fan. And 4500 RPMs for the maximum of the fan. 12 volts. Uh, a signal one that's for the talking of the um, to that little mini controller. Um, PF5. I haven't quite sussed out what that is yet. And then. Um, that's it. So there you go, mate. That's how you get into the engineer code. All right, see you later, mate. All right, mate. So now it's running at 1.1 hertz. And uh, so let's, let's see how it's getting on with that. So here we go. So just so you know what, what's happening there. I don't know if that focuses. Right, so it's 24 degrees centigrade in here. And... 
and it's running at 1.1 Hertz okay so we're just going to do some checks so I've got a nice black surface there so that's 30.7 degrees there this one there is 28 degrees that's on the external wall that's uh, my boarding that goes over the windows so we just take that black dot there so it's 27 degrees on that wall there uh, 29 degrees there and then um, so we do some the, like the back wall carpet bits so that's 24 degrees on the carpet there and 23 degrees there and 21 degrees on this external door here so now let's go and see if there's uh, ever getting complete combustion or not so let's have a look so I was going to do an experiment uh, med um, a technical way of doing it and then I forgot all about stuff like this Yeah, getting complete but combustion there. And then, well, actually, so, well, it's not really a sort of true representation there. But there you go. So that's uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Listen to that, mate. Lovely. It's like having gas-fired central heating in your own van. Right mate, so it seems to be doing all right on 1.1 hertz. So I'm gonna push my luck and take it down to a uh, 1000 hertz. So here we go. So just gonna go through there. So all the codes, 9009, center so see there it's 1.1 hertz so I'm going to take it down to a, a thousand hertz 1.0 hertz and you can hear the knocking slow down it's okay maximum of 5.5 hertz a minimum of 1680 rpm for the fan and maximum of 4500 Uh, 12 volts signal one that's for the uh, controller pf m sussed out what that is yet yeah. and then compel right so uh, i'll upload a video shortly to see how we're getting on that whether we're getting complete combustion temperatures and stuff like that unfortunately mate you know this is as good as a science experiment gets um at the moment in lockdown right see you in a bit Right, so this is my next experiment. So I'm just gonna take it through the operating codes. So nine, and then uh, zero, zero, nine. Oops. Nine. So you see it's on one hertz, okay? So normally uh, the minimum it can run on is 16 hertz. So I've taken it right down to that just so it ticks over nice and slowly. So um, that's that. And the maximum of 5.5 uh, hertz. Minimum of uh, 1680 RPM. And then a maximum of 4500 RPM. And then 12 volts, signal one. Uh, I haven't quite sussed that out yet. Right, that's it. So it's 10.38 in the morning. Right, so let's, uh, let's see how it goes now. So what the reason why I'm trying to get it run on the minimum amount of hertz as possible, firstly, that pump is annoying, and two, this is only a little NV200 van. It's uh, not a very big space, and uh, this diesel heater could heat up a blooming transit van easily, you know. So anyway... So let's just go through some numbers. So at the moment, the ambient temperature in here is 25 degrees, and that's running at one hertz. Right. So let's uh, let's grab the radar gun, as I like to call it. Right, a nice black surface there. 
so it doesn't really show up on the screen I don't think so that's 33.3 degrees and that one because it's non-reflective there is 31 degrees this one down here is 25.3 degrees uh, 24 degrees now this is a this is the cold wall I haven't insulated this at all it was never intended for this use originally but you see the little black tape up there so I'm going to aim it for that so it's 25.6 degrees that's a cold metal surface there so it's heated that up nice that's nice and warm and then here is 30 degrees let's do the roof while I'm at it okay so 22 degrees on the roof there 22 degrees that's pretty much a constant 22 degrees right across right so is it doing complete combustion at one hurt I don't know let's go and have a look right. unfortunately it's going to have to be the old uh, sniff test <laughs> when I was younger I bought enough dodgy old cars to have done this a few times definitely getting complete combustion there definitely I think the best thing to do is start up uh, a little bit warmer you know like uh, 2000 Hertz get it nice and hot and then knock it down to a thousand Hertz and that can be your night tick over time keep it nice and warm not use too much diesel that's what I reckon Anyway, this is how I've got it all wired up. So, um, it's coming out through the hole there, just underneath where my bed is. And then underneath there, you've got the air inlets. And I've got that going into the spare tire. Um, don't forget the air doesn't ever see the inside of your van. It's only just to exchange in the, um, in the heater and then chuck it back out so your van never gets contaminated with any of that but it won't it won't contaminate anyway because it's so far apart so uh, that's my little setup right so that's my little experiment one hertz works fine absolutely brilliant actually but I think to start off with you need to run it at like the initial 1600 1 1.6 hertz and then um, get it nice and warm and then knock it down to a thousand if you're sleeping overnight that's what I would do knock it down to a to the one hurt it just tick over in the in the background not use too much of your battery it's a bit of a win situation and use less diesel as well all right thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and uh, see you on the next video